Assalamu alaikum. I'm at the Islamic Association of Saskatchewan in Saskatoon, and I've met two members of the Muslim community. Why don't you tell me about yourselves? My name is Zubair Sidiot. And I'm Talha Shahid. And tell me about your involvement in the community, what you do in Saskatoon. So, I am a student in this community. Uh, actually, inshallah, uh, starting this semester, I'll be going for Islamic studies. Uh, I've been living in Saskatoon for, since 2009. My family moved here from Regina. My father is the imam of the community over here. And uh, a good thing about Saskatoon, which is, which, which is a very diverse community, and everyone over here is very well connected, alhamdulillah. Uh, this includes both the Muslims and the non-Muslims. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm a student at University of Saskatchewan and I study kinesiology and I've lived here since 2008 and when I came here the community was really small and over the years I've noticed that uh, going from you know six rows in Juma prayer we're filling up the credit union center in the city so as you can see like there's been a, a huge influx of Muslims moving to the city and although it feels like we're a bigger community but we're still very close-knit and uh, alhamdulillah we still all come to the same masjid regardless of ethnicity. It's not, um, we're not divided, alhamdulillah. And we also have another masjid on the west side that many people go to. But alhamdulillah, they're all under one, um, yeah, one umbrella, you can say. That's great. I, I felt that sense of unity as well, and it's a really a great attribute that your community has. Um, what are some of the things that you guys do in uh, Saskatoon? Uh, a lot of uh, activities that happen in the Muslim community over here, uh, ranging from you know dawah activities and uh, especially the the MSA, which is part of the University of Saskatchewan mm -hmm. over here, and other organizations are very close knit with the community and uh, working together with the Masjid as well over here. So the youth, uh, the youth are also, mashallah, they're very well uh, involved in mm -hmm. the activities of the community. Uh, a lot of times we'll come here in Fajr Salah and we'll find a, a large portion of the Jama over there is is youth, which is something mm -hmm. which is. Uh, you know, very you know, good to see in, in a community because the youth are somebody which are you know the future flag bearers of, of Islam, inshallah. And a lot of the activities that take place, like the Dawa activities, the MSA, we have um, Islam Aware Awareness Week, and mm -hmm. all of these different activities that happen. Camp Sunnah is happening soon, so this is all run by uh, the youth and initiated by the youth. And also, you know, in our, in our masjid, one of the good things about our masjid is we have uh, we have a gym in our masjid, mm -hmm. and so alhamdulillah, like the youth can get together and uh, you know play some ball and play some different sports, and also you know pray one or two salah in the masjid as well. And this is a good way to mm -hmm. bring the youth closer to the masjid. Zubair essentially hit the nail right on the head. But, um, I mean, the youth also have some power here. Like, we have our own unit within the masjid. We govern what we do ourselves, our little events we do, such as MSA, barbecue. That would be under the university. But, you know, like, it's also connected to here. Since we're so close-knit here, right? It's like, it's almost like it's one organization, but it's like different names, you know? And, um... Yeah, I mean, this is America covered at all. For sure. Yeah. What do you guys like to do for fun? Where do you like to eat? What are some recommendations? A good, uh, a, a good uh, thing about Saskatoon is the, the natural beauty of Saskatoon. Uh, the, I'll get to the food part after this. Oh, absolutely. Uh, the, like, you know, Saskatoon is a, is a place where, you know, where you have the city as well. The downtown is very nice and everything. And then we also have the natural set out mm -hmm. and the layout of the, of the, of the city. Mm -hmm. So we have the South Saskatchewan River flowing through Saskatoon. And it is a great place to you know, go hiking and have barbecues and... Uh, do fishing if you would like to, and there's a lot of you know close places around Saskatoon and around Saskatchewan, close by an hour, an hour and a half drive, which is uh, you know something unique about about our community. For the eating part, uh, Alhamdulillah, as Talha said in the previous segment, that you know uh, a big influx of of the Muslim community over the past two years, which brought Muslims all over from from all over Canada, from uh, Ontario and and Quebec and all these different places. So Alhamdulillah, a lot of Muslim businesses uh, started mm -hmm. sprouting up. And uh, we have uh, at least seven or eight different mm -hmm. uh, halal food joints uh, in our community and, and halal groceries and these things. Spicy Bite is one of them, 867 Donair, uh, Afghan Kebab, so all of these different those, places. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. we have, alhamdulillah, a good, uh, a good variety of, of yeah. uh, halal and Muslim places that mm -hmm. we can go to. Nice. What's your most memorable uh, memory here? In Saskatoon? Yeah. Um, I used to live in Ontario my whole life, and when it first hit minus 40, minus 50 here, it, it didn't feel that pleasant. I never felt uh, shearing pain from cold before, so that was an interesting experience. But you get used to it, you know. For sure. Um, uh, my best memory of Saskatoon uh, was probably leading 
I was probably leading the, the Taraweeh prayer in, in Saskatoon. Uh, this was one of the first places that I led. Uh, this is actually the second places that I led Taraweeh uh, after I became half of the Quran. So it was an interesting experience to, you know, uh, get to experience a, a very large congregation behind you. Mm -hmm. It was a little bit nerve wracking in the beginning, but alhamdulillah, I got used to it. So that was something interesting. That's great. And uh, what do you think is the proudest moment of the Muslim community here? Proudest moment. It would probably be. I wouldn't know too much, but the elders would know the entire history of what happened here. But in your opinion, in what would be? In my opinion, would probably be, in my experience in the past six years, would be the expansion of the masjid for one, and the western wing of the masjid, you could say, like in the western part of the city. For sure. That could also be, you know, the. It showed that uh, everyone on that part of the city didn't have to drive all the way here. Mm -hmm. You know, it made it so much more convenient, and it made it obvious that the community is growing, which it has. Uh, as he said about the, the west uh, side masjid being connected to the east side masjid, uh, that is actually like the, 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 the board in the west side masjid actually has representatives from this masjid. So they're working together mm -hmm. in every, sing every, every single thing that they do. Mm -hmm. All of the major decisions that are to be made in regards to Ramadan and Eid and all mm -hmm. of these things, they, they're made uh, the same. You know, together uh, with both masjids. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the greatest ach achievements that I think that have happened in this community was um, the establishment of Saskatoon Mispa School. Uh, in, in the community mm -hmm. and also in the masjid. So as we know that alhamdulillah we have a really big facility over here. Uh, now it's becoming a little bit small because of the, the, the huge influx of, uh, of, Mus of Muslims that came to Saskatoon. But uh, it's, a, it's a really, really big uh, facility that we have over here. It used to be a school. And so we have Saskatoon Mispa School uh, established inside of this building. So it's, it's kind of interesting that we have the masjid here too. And uh, we have the school here as well. It mm -hmm. goes up to grade nine, uh, I believe. And I was, I was a student in Saskatoon Mispa School uh, in grade 8. That was the only year I was able to go there because at that time they were in a very small place and I wasn't able to continue there with them. But it's good to see that you know, the, the Muslim community has uh, somewhere to put their children so that they can get their, their, um, their education as well as have their uh, Islamic identity. And they are able to you know, come to the, uh, to the masjid, to pray Salat mm -hmm. al-Duhar in the masjid. And it's, it's something which is very good for them. So that's something which the community has achieved over the past couple of years. That's wonderful. Thank you so much for your time. Do you have uh, anything to add or a message for viewers? Uh, a message for our non-Muslim friends who are watching this uh, or who will be watching this. Uh, <coughs> make sure that you know you research everything uh, that you hear and you don't you don't take anything which you hear from the media or whatnot. Try to you know get to the bottom of, of whatever uh, is is being said to you. And so I think that will uh, show you that Islam is a religion of peace. Islam mm -hmm. is a religion of harmony. And uh, it is something that uh, you know that would spread love and harmony among the people. Yeah, like Zabar said, we um, to our non-Muslim viewers, obviously, it's best not to consider the media to be completely correct. You know, it's better to look into Islam as a religion. You know, from our own point of view, rather than the point of view of the media, which is like most of them aren't Muslim. So, a lot of what they say is obviously generalizations. So. I would like them to look into the true Islam, you know, the, the peace, the love, and everything that comes with it that isn't displayed in the media. So, you know, maybe get some, go to your local mosque or whatever, maybe get some books from there, learn what we're truly about rather than, you know, the image that the media has given us over the past 10, 15 years. Go to a Muslim person who's close to you mm -hmm. and ask them questions. Go to your local masjid. Uh, they're, they're very welcoming, and uh, I think the imam or anybody who's in the masjid would be very pleased to answer any of the questions that you might have. So go ahead and give it a mm -hmm. try. Guys, once again, thanks a lot for your time. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum